Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to make a vowel quadrilateral in Excel. I'll have to admit, when I took on this assignment, I had no idea what a vowel quadrilateral was. So I did a little looking and found out that it's a linguistic graphical representation. Um, I actually am a, have an avid interest in linguistics, uh, just, just as a hobby. It's something I like to learn about. And so I, I uh, found a way to generate a, a vowel quadrilateral uh, with an Excel spreadsheet. So here's my spreadsheet. Um, I haven't yet completed it, but what I did is I found uh, in the literature a, a, a vowel quadrilateral um, where it has the axes, the F1 and F2, which I understand are the primary and secondary um, peak frequency components from a, a spectral analysis of, of the sounds that uh, constitute the different vowels. Um, so what I did is I, is I went and I just picked off some points that I thought would generate the vowel quadrilateral uh, starting at, uh, let me just scroll in a little here, starting at, um, I think it was 1600 and 850, so right about uh, down here, going up here to uh, 24, 2500 and 300, over to here, back down to here, and then completing the quadrilateral. And then I noticed that a lot of them have a line down the middle, so then I went back to about 1300 and then vertical, vertically straight back up to, uh, to 300. So those are the points I have over here. And now what we're going to do is generate a, a scatter plot just connecting those, those points. So let's try it out and see what happens. So I've selected my entire range of data. I go to, into the chart menu. Uh, depending on your version of Excel, it may be a, uh, you know, things may appear differently, but just find a scatter plot. And uh, we're going to make a, uh, you have different options, but we're interested in the lines because this is just going to make the outline of the quadrilateral and then with separate points, we'll plot the actual vowel uh, values. So we're going to click on straight line scatter, and there we have it. Now, you'll notice that it doesn't quite look like uh, this plot here because the axes are in the opposite of the conventional direction here. So there's a way in Excel we can, we can fix that. First thing I'm going to do is delete the legend because sometimes the legend just gets in the way. So we're going to delete that. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the, um, uh, the axis, format, uh, for, axis formats for the two axes, and there's a way to reverse the order in which the points are plotted. So we're going to right-click on the axis, and we're going to say Format Axis, and there we have values in reverse order. First for the x-axis, and then for the y-axis. Right-click on any of the numbers there, Format Axis, values in reverse order, and there we have it. So I hope this was helpful. My name is Ted, and today I showed you how to make a vowel quadrilateral in Excel. Thank you for watching.